Stalker RLR, baseline, no jammer. Gotcha. 604, uh, 1,645 feet at 30 miles an hour. Okay, we have a uh, Stalker RLR. Also a tough gun to jam with variable pulse rate technology. Let's see how this TPX does. Just painting the front of the car here. Trying to find weaknesses. Fabulous. Nothing. Jammed the gun. Okay, we're going to go with the Stalker RLR and shoot the passenger headlight on this run. Just focusing on that. Nicely done here. Nothing. That's a beautiful thing. Couldn't get a reading. Okay, we're doing really well against the uh, Stalker RLR. Now we're going to go for the driver's side headlight. This one's got this one licked. Nothing. Jam the gun. Okay, we're gonna now uh, target center mass with the Stalker RLR. Suspecting if we're not getting it up anywhere on the headlights, we're certainly not gonna get it in center mass. Not a hint of a reading or distance. Nothing. Oh, there you got something center mass. Believe it or not, 122 at 27 miles an hour. So I was wrong about that. Able to get something there. Okay, if you remember the last run with the TPX with the Stalker RLR when we went center mass, we got a punch through, uh, really close, 120 feet thereabouts. And wanted to see if uh, Vail G6 with a TPX would, would basically erase that. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, come at me. So let's see, I mean, 120 feet is basically jammed the gun, but let's just see for the heck of it if uh, we eliminate that that punch through.
wasn't able to get a reading. So there you go. Uh, on that run, it looks like we erased that uh, punch through at 120 odd feet. I hope this video was informative to you. And if so, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as we will have more videos coming your way. Also be sure to visit RadarBusters.com. They have expert support staff that can help you determine what are the best countermeasure solutions for your particular driving circumstances. Thanks for watching and remember to drive safe, drive smart, but most importantly, drive protected.